can't buy It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders, the founders of RX Bars. Um, if you don't know that story, they sold to Kellogg for $600 million. Check out that interview I did with Peter. Um, it was before they sold, and actually I knew even how big they were and how they built up that brand. P90X founder Tony Horton talks about how he made money as a street mine before he sold hundreds of millions of dollars. That's how he actually made money, Jason. He would uh, put a hat out on the street um, for his food and apartment money as a street mime. And um, Baby Einstein founder uh, grew to $20 million with five staff in three years, more impressed, and ended up selling to Disney. More impressive, they, she battled cancer twice and overcame that. And uh, Nolan Bushnell, founder of Atari, who was Steve Jobs' mentor, he talks about how Steve offered Nolan 33% of Apple for $50,000 and why he said no to that. Um, this episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Our mission at Rise25 is to find you your best referral partners and customers, and we do that through our Done For You podcast solution, which I believe is the best thing I've ever done for my life and business. I know Jason is nodding along with me, and he believes that as well and, and lives it, and we'll talk about his podcast. Uh, we help your company completely run and launch your podcast, distribute it across all channels, do everything so you could show up and you know really uh, talk to your best referral partners and clients. And our goal is for you to ROI from your podcast, not just create great content, which we want that to be too. Um, but it's allowed me to connect with founders of you know, Jason, P90X, Atari, Einstein Bagels, Mattel, and and on and on. So. Um, check out rise25.com. We do have a greater mission behind what we do, which is um, John and I realized our grandfathers were a huge inspiration. My grandfather was a Holocaust survivor who escaped Nazi Germany. At the same time, John's grandfather was a B-17 captain and pilot who flew 35 missions over Nazi Germany. And so we honor our grandfather's legacy. So we have a scholarship, a veteran entrepreneur scholarship for any of our VIP events that we run or any events that we run. Um, you can go to rise25.com slash mission. If you know a veteran entrepreneur or you are one, apply. It could be an all expenses. Pay, you know, uh, Jason, you know, you, you've been to um, TNC. We had a mastermind the day before. It, it was all expense paid for that. And then also we got them a ticket to the conference and hotel and flight. Um, so if you know of someone, send them to rise25.com slash mission. Um, and today we have Jason Swank, who, if you don't know him, he runs a unique consultancy helping marketing agency owners grow their agencies faster. So if you are an agency or you know an agency, you need to send them to jasonswank.com. He is the resource he wish he had when he started his agency. Um, he also has, you know, two podcasts, the Smart Agency Masterclass podcast where they share strategies and stories from real agency owners and Swank Today, which is a weekly show that documents how you can grow your digital agency. Um, early on, Jason quit his day job, launched a digital marketing agency, grew it to a multi-million dollar operation. It's not as easy as I'm making it out. Uh, hundred Grew it to 100 staff. We were working with brands with AT&T, Hitachi, Lotus Cars, and after 12 years, sold the agency. Um, and Jason, thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me on. I'm honored to be on the show, especially with the people he listed out. I was like, wow, you're really lowering the bar with me on it. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. You help the, those type of companies grow actually with the agency and you're affecting a lot of these companies because the agencies you help, you know, basically work with these companies. So, um, I, I just do have to do a pitch for your podcast because, um, people need to go to jasonswink.com. Um, I, have listened to every episode of your podcast. So um, that, that's not just something, you know, I, I just say lightly. Um, I, I was checking out today. I missed two episodes. So I listened to them on my way in of Swank Today. Um, there's 172 episodes. I've listened to every single one of those. And the Smart Agency, there's 202 episodes. I've listened to all of those. So I think anyone who runs a business, forget about, I mean, yes, agency, but the stuff you teach really gets in, any business can use what you teach. So I know you, what made you start a podcast in the first place? Obviously, we both believe in the power of podcasting. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was the number one thing I've ever done. But, you know, when, when I sold my agency, I had a lot of competitors reaching out, old competitors in the agency world being like, hey, how'd you get LegalZoom? How'd you get Lotus? How'd you sell? How'd you do all this? 
And I was like, well, you know, I, I helped them out for free. And so I was like, well, let's record some of these episodes over Google Hangout. And then let me reach out to some other people I know that or, you know, as successful as we were or right around it. And let's interview them on Google Hangout and then put it on YouTube. And at the time, one of my friends, Gene, was like, hey, you should do a podcast. I'm like, all I knew about podcasting back in like 2004 or 14 was I would watch like Pat Flynn's podcast. I didn't know you could do it on your phone. I'm, <laughs> right. And I was like, who's going to watch? Like, it's so boring. And they're like, hey, dummy. <laughs> It literally can go in your pocket. I'm like, oh, okay. And then, so I started taking that audio out, putting it on, you know, iTunes and Google Play and all that. And it changed everything. Like I could reach people all over. And, and I just started people reaching out all over the world. I mean, like, hey, you know, I love that story. I'm like, really? You listen to it? Like, and it just been kept growing ever since. So I kind of got started by accident, really. Yeah. So if someone's like, I want the pot, what do you point? Do you point them more to Swank today or the smart agency master class? So go to Swank it. Swank <laughs> it. Swank.it. Swank. Swank. It, and it okay. links to both shows. Jason, anyone should check out jasonswank.com. But um, I want to talk about some horror stories um, and some tough times because this is really what, you know, makes us flex our muscles as an entrepreneur and leader. So what were some of the horror stories, tough times in the in agency? Well, I remember one, this is actually kind of a funny story. So we actually changed our billing terms uh, to really kind of get more paid faster from our clients. And we would never do any creative until we got everything from our clients. And so this one company, I think this was back in 2006, um, we pretty much got paid for everything, like maybe $80,000 or whatever, but they never got us the information what we needed. So we were just on hold. Well, they, we sold the agency in 2012. They actually contacted us in 2014 saying, I finally have everything. <laughs> and I'm like, how many years uh, later? Is I think it's a little late. Like wow. we've been sold a couple times. And uh, so that was just a, a funny story. Um, but you know, a horror story was, you know, when, and this happens to everybody, right? Like we get a big deal. And we get real excited and the client says, what? Checks in the mail. So we go ahead and do work. We trust them. We will leave the checks in the mail. We spend like a hundred K on building this application and we keep getting excuses, checks in the mail, checks in the mail. And then finally we turn over the work and then they get crickets. We can't reach them. Wow. Right. We put all those resources on it. We actually went over scope. And literally it almost killed us at the time. So, you, just, you know, those are a million other stories. About so make that. sure to get paid up front or make, get paid a portion. Always get paid in advance at certain milestones. And when people say the check's in the mail, hold up and be like, hey, you know, we'll, we'll wait for the check. <laughs> yeah. And then exiting wise. Alternative methods. <laughs> yeah. Exiting wise. I know you had a few tips um, exiting no wise. No. No or no. <laughs> you have that written I, on your wall. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So, but hey, it, it was a lesson learned where I can keep other people from being burned. Like it cost me millions. I still did well. All right. So don't, don't feel bad for me. I'm not crying for you. Don't uh, no. no. So, but literally I've been able, able to, in my life to hit pretty much every goal I've ever wanted to go after. But when you're bought and they put a certain thing based on performance and they're going to pay you over time, in order to hit the valuation that you want, like you, you're out of control. Like they totally dictate what goes on. And that was the case where I, I didn't have any control. So we didn't hit our numbers and literally they sold the second time, which the, and like to the day they like it had it work is like, if we dip below this, we wouldn't get right. And we literally dip below for like a day. And that was the day that they sold. Um, so then it cost wow. us, a lot of money. So don't be happy with the cash up front and the guarantees. Um, and just assume you're not going to get the earnouts because it will cost you millions. Cool. Everyone check out jasonswank.com, all the podcasts. You should listen to every single episode. If you don't, you should be, you should feel bad about yourself. So Jason, thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like, like a beat.
reach if you find the same right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.